What's going on, guys? I am back with another video. I showed you guys that this female was laying eggs a couple days ago. I believe it was like three days ago now. Um, I took her. I caught her in the process of laying her. She's laying them all over the cage. And uh, I took her and put her in a lay box for two days. I took her out because she... I trapped her in there so she couldn't get out. She laid two more eggs in there, I believe. I give you guys a total count on her clutch, but um, she she laid them. She was laying all over the cage. She laid two more in the lay box when I trapped her in there. So I let her out. She got at least like three or four more left in there. Um, so I'm checking on her right now to see. It looked like I could see a bulge right there on the side of her. She's pretty thin. You can see a little bulge right there. So she got at least one more in there. Um, she looked like she had more when I took her out, so she probably laid some in here somewhere. When she when she was in here previously, she was laying them over here where she basket. Oh, there go. She laid one right there, if you can see it. Hopefully it's not too dry yet. It don't look dry. Let me get that one out and add it to the, to the lay box. I mean, sorry, not the lay box, but the egg box. It's right there. So I'm going to look behind there and see if she laid any more. Because it looks like she got one one left in there. But when I took her out of the lay box, um, it seemed like she had more. So. Check inside of here too, just in case she went back in there on her own. No, no more in here. No, no more in there, but get that one on the other side of this truck. Hopefully it's not too late. I don't see any more in here. That's the father. See any more? I think this is it. I keep keep checking on her and see what's going on. But let me candle this one real fast, and then I'm gonna uh, come back and show you how many she laid total so far. All right, guys. This is the rest of her clutch right here. I candled that one. I didn't see any distinctive. Uh, ring or embryo in it, but I did see, did see a little bit of a red spot, so I'm just gonna set this one away from the other ones and um, hopefully it don't go bad and see what see what's happening. But yeah, I keep you guys updated on her. Actually, I want to show you guys one of my one of my male ornates. He's growing up nicely, starting to color up. So I'm gonna show you him before I end the video. It's a different species of Euromastics, but there's a lot of people think it's the most beautiful. And and I'm amongst amongst those people, so I'm gonna show you him real fast and then I go ahead and end the video. But she laid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven eggs so far. She might got one or two more left. Um but that one right there. We don't know what's going to happen with that one. Right, here go that little mail I was telling you guys about. I'm going to do an update on all my um, oscillator gymnastics. But, so, and I'm going to do it outside so you guys can see the colors a little bit better. But this is a cool little 
preview. He's captain bred, so nice and friendly. He's crawling up me right now. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but I think I'm aiming at him, at least. Try to jump back here. The eggs that I just showed you guys is from the oscillated, and this is a different species to get bigger. The oscillated are pretty small. This species get a lot bigger, and this is an ornate. Let me grab him before he run behind something. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned because I will be doing a um, update on all my oscillators. I think I have I have five left. Originally I had six. I sold one. And stay tuned so you can see the update. All right, guys. This clip here is separate a separate date from the uh, previous clips, but um. Uh, Told you guys that I was gonna cut this egg open if it didn't hatch in the next few days. This one is now what like seven days, eight days past when his clutch mates hatch, so I'm gonna cut it open and see what's going on inside of it. It did it in a little bit, I thought it was gonna hatch, but nothing's going on, so I'm gonna cut it open right now. Thought it was moving, but they're just an egg rebounding to its previous position. So I pinched a little bit piece right there. I'm just gonna try to barely cut the egg so I don't cut the end of it. Or the baby dragon. I think it might be a wood I mean, sorry, a Miro. It was a Miro. Would have had one more, but I don't know what went wrong with the egg. It never started absorbing any yolk. Let's see if it got a little lump on top of his head. I think it's. I think it was already detached from the yolk and just couldn't absorb it. That's why. It doesn't look like it's fully formed besides that. Yeah, so it would never hatch. I just gave it a couple days to see if it would. And you can see it didn't absorb his yolk. His belly is still open. So, if 
for today is from the Hypo Leather Bag Zero. Didn't make it. But all of them can survive. Same thing with humans. They give a lot of birth per year, but all of them make it. And bear dragons, they give a, they make a lot of babies every year. This is the pairing that I was uh, surprised with the zeros on here. Um, neither one of the breeders told me that it was the dragon could be uh, at zero, but I spoke with the guy that produced the male. Um, he told me that the parent, the, the father was 50% possible at zero, but he never proved it out because the chances were so remote, and he never proved it out. He didn't put it on there. So yeah. That's what I was telling you to have. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Go ahead in the video here. To the next video, you guys have a good one. I'm out. Peace.